Oh, hello, Emma. I finally finished all the Jane Austens. Emma was the last one. Mid-ranking, they're, they're all much and much. Just North Anger Abbey was the only good one, to be honest with you. What is Emma about? Well, you can hear the full review on episode 12 of the Books Boys podcast, Apple, Spotify, booksboys.com. But in summary, not a big fan of, of this one. Um, uh, Emma has a friend, Harriet, and there's a chap, Mr. Martin, who likes Harriet and proposes to her, and Emma says, no, don't marry him because you're better than him. He's beneath you. He's a farmer. Bit of a gentleman farmer, but a farmer nonetheless. You're better than that. She's not. Uh, it turns out she's essentially nobody. Um, and then there's a whole big thing, and then it's who loves Emma, and Emma... Mr. Knightley, this posh guy, potentially loves Emma, but then Harriet thinks that, well, if I can do better than Mr. Martin, maybe I should go for Mr. Knightley, and then it gets into that whole thing. Um, and, you know, it's, well, they, will they fall out? What will happen? There's another chap they like, who's the uh, Mr. Elton, who's the vicar, or minister of some kind, and at one point he likes them. It's a love story, but... <laughs> It doesn't go anywhere. It's it's very dull, to be perfectly honest. The dad, uh, Mr. Woodhouse, is the only nice character um, because he says he thinks that everybody's like him. So if something doesn't agree with his stomach, he says, oh, nobody should eat cake. We all know it doesn't agree with anyone's stomach. You know, and he just says, and they all take all these cares to give him his comforts, but he's just this old man. But it's, it's quite wholesome in that sense. He's the only good character in the book. Uh, give it a miss. <laughs>